Hello everybody, Chris Angel from the SMB Help Desk here. In this video we are going to talk about Explorer View and mapped drives in Office 365 SharePoint Online. Now the first question I always get is what is Explorer View and what benefits does that give me? Uh, Explorer View is when you open up the uh, Explorer View icon here, this is Explorer View. So this is a lot of people are used to seeing when they reference their My Documents folder or their desktop or their downloads. This view here is the Windows Explorer View. The one main advantage this gives you is being able to upload an entire folder into SharePoint Online. Uh, as some of you may know, when you are uploading folder files or folders into SharePoint Online, you can only drag and drop files into the Internet Explorer browser to upload them into a document library. You can't do an entire folder. And Explorer View actually allows you to do that, and we'll talk about that later. Now, if you do run into any problems in this video, take a look at our other video. Uh, it's about troubleshooting the most common issues you're going to see when using either a map drive or explorer view in SharePoint Online. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to dive right in here. So I actually already have this to the login page, and I'm going to go ahead and log in as our demo user here. Now, what I did for this demo is I went ahead and had this, so this is actually going to sign directly into our uh, document library that I have set up. Now, one thing you're going to notice right away, and I always like to put this right away out there, is there's this Keep Me Signed In checkbox. This is crucial if you're going to be using map drives. If you do not check this, these credentials aren't going to pass through from Internet Explorer down to your base system, and a map drive is not going to work. This is actually the first thing that we usually discuss as soon as someone says I'm having problems with a map drive is, did you did you check this checkbox right here? So if you're planning on using it in map drives, make sure you check this checkbox. Obviously, you only want to do this on a computer that is yours. If you're doing this on a public computer, you're going to want to make sure you actually sign out and actually do an explicit sign out when you're done using Office 365. That way no one can just come up and accidentally get into your stuff. It's a, a security issue there. So we're going to go ahead and sign in. And the first thing you're going to see when we sign in here is we're in the X850 campaign folder. This is just a sales and marketing document library that we have set up uh, in regards to the an X850 campaign for uh, our Contoso.com uh, person here. So I'm going to go ahead and the first thing you're going to notice up here at the very top is you're going to see a little toolbar. A lot of people overlook this and this has actually got a lot of very helpful and useful things inside of it. And for this we're going to actually go ahead and click on library. Now when you click on library the first thing you're going to notice is uh, there's a bunch of links here. One of them is the open with, with explorer view icon. Now if you have a lower resolution monitor you're only going to see the icon. What it does to save some space is remove some of the wording and only lets you see the icon there. But still the same thing. You can kind of hover if you're not sure what it looks like. But you, it'll give you the little information of an Open with Explorer. So we're going to go ahead and do Open with Explorer. And it might take a moment or two the first time you do this. And we'll discuss some of that in the troubleshooting video as well as to things to speed this up. But now you notice in the Explorer view that we showed earlier, now I have this folder with these three documents in it. So now if I wanted to upload, say, a folder here, so I have on my desktop a trade show docs folder, then I want to put the trade show docs folder and everything inside it up into SharePoint so that everyone can have access to it. Just literally going to drag it and drop it over into this folder here. And it's going to go ahead and take a couple seconds because it's actually have to upload everything using your internet connection. So depending on your speed and the size of the files, this could take a couple seconds to a couple minutes or even longer. Now I have that trade show docs uploaded into here. And if I go ahead and launch this, I'm going to go ahead and do an F5. And we're going to refresh our, uh, our view here. And now here's that trade show documents folder that I modified a few seconds ago. And if I go inside of it, here is those couple couple files that I have uploaded. Now, next thing we're going to want to do is actually we're going to want to take this one step further, and we're going to want to map a drive. Map drives are handy if you're constantly going into the same folder over and over again. Uh, what this will allow you to do then is actually have a mapped drive inside of your Explorer view that's permanently there. So when you go on this PC, right now I have my local C drive, and you see I don't have anything else in here. I'm going to actually put a mapped drive in here. 
So to actually map a drive, there's a couple steps that you want to take to make sure you're doing it correctly. The first one is actually to open that site in Explorer View. Uh, that will actually the, is the quickest way to get the link that you need. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and come back in here. I'm going to go to Library. And I'm going to do Open with Explorer View. And when you get that, there's this set of set of words up here that a lot of people ignore. This is actually the link to this library that you're in. So if I click in here in an empty white space, you'll notice it kind of changes and it highlights and you have an HTTPS address. This is actually the HTTPS address to this library. So I'm going to control C to copy this because I'm going to need this link here in a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead, close out of this here. I'm just going to minimize this window. And I'm back into my uh, Explorer view for the computer. If you're not in this view, you want to click on the This PC or PC. So you see your C drive. Uh, I'm using Windows 10 here. Uh, depending on your Windows version, this may look slightly different. But you'll see a Map Network Drive option in there. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Map Network Drive. When I do that, this is going to pop up here. It's going to say, hey, what, what folder would you like to map? Choose any drive letter you want. In this case, we're just going to go ahead and leave it as Z. That address that you copied earlier, this is where you're going to paste it in, where it says folder. So we're going to control V and paste that in there. Now there's two critical pieces in here that you're going to want to look at and use based on what you're using. One of them is connect using different credentials. You have to check this box in order to get this drive to map properly. If you don't do that, it's going to try and pass through your local credentials, which aren't going to work. This one here, reconnect that sign, and this is a totally optional one. If you want this drive to reconnect when you sign into your computer, you're going to want to connect this. If you're using a public PC, you're probably not going to want to do this because you're not going to want it to remember anything. So I'm going to go ahead and hit finish here, and it's going to actually go through and it's going to pop up and prompt me for my credentials. Now I have them saved in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on remember my credentials. If this is a public PC, you're not going to want to remember your credentials on here because you don't want anybody getting access to those. So make sure you uncheck that box. Then it won't auto fill in for this drive. For me, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Remember my credentials because this is my PC. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to take a moment or two. And if you notice now, I got a little pop up that came up here. I'm going to go ahead and just close this pop up so you can actually see what happened. So if you look down here, I now have a map drive. It's a Z drive, and you can actually see it's the X850 campaign folder. So now I can go ahead and double click on this guy, and here is the map drive. And here it's just like Explorer View. So if you're wanting to go ahead and open a Word document or edit a Word document or upload files or anything else, this now acts like Explorer View because it is Explorer. But now it's actually through a map drive. So you no longer have to go in and you have to go and navigate all the way to your document library. This is really handy if you have those things that you just access all the time. It's also really handy if you're converting and you're used to using a current drive. Maybe you have a server at your location or a network attached storage device and you're used to using like a T drive or a Z drive to access certain folders and files. You can kind of mimic that using SharePoint Online so you're very comfortable with transitioning from an on-site file server over to an Office 365 SharePoint file server. That's all there is to it. We now just map the drive and open something in Explorer View on Office 365 SharePoint Online.